In this video, you're going to learn how to create this effect of a fish swimming around the letter S. So at the beginning of this video, you'll learn some basic techniques of masking and cropping. And towards the end of the video, you'll learn some advanced techniques to create these see-through effects on the letters and some shadows. So let's get started. So as always, if you want to follow along with this tutorial, I'll leave a link to this image in the description below. So I'm going to right click and copy this image and let's go into Photoshop and click File New. And Photoshop should automatically pick up the width and the height of the image you copied. If it, uh, if it doesn't, just choose 200, uh, 2250 by 1500 pixels right here and also 72 uh, pixels per inch in resolution and make sure the color mode is on RGB. So let's click on Create and here's our canvas. So you can just press Control V to paste or Command V if you're on a Mac or just go um, edit and click on paste. So the first thing I'm going to do is place the text just over the fish. And I'm just going to use the font time, Times New Roman, but you can use any font that you want. Uh, most versions of Photoshop should have uh, Times New Roman right here. So just choose the uh, text, uh, text tool right here and click right here to change the font. So I'm just going to click in the middle of the canvas and I'm just going to type in the word, the, uh, the letter S. And this is going to be an uppercase as well. There we go. So, and if you want to make this bigger, you can just press Control T or Command T if you're on a Mac and you can just make this bigger. And I'm just going to place this just the right way. So I want to make it look like the fish is kind of, um, kind of swimming around the S here. So the reason why I picked S uh, for this image it's because this fish already kind of, it's kind of got that curvy shape. So the letter S would kind of uh, look good on this um, image. So I'm just going to place it just right where I want it and I'm just going to hit enter. And I can also lower the opacity of the S layer. So if you don't see this layer panel, just go to windows and click on layers right here. And I'm also going to rename this first layer by double clicking on it. And I'll just name it fish. And I'm going to lower the opacity of the S layer so we can see what's behind it. So this will kind of help us as a guide to see what we need to kind of hide so we can reveal the fish behind it. So maybe just about there. So when the fish kind of curves around, it gets into that S. So I'm just going to change the color of this font to white. So let's just highlight this font. So I just chose the text tool and I highlighted the text and I'm going to choose a white color. And I'm also going to lower the opacity enough so that we can actually see the fish in the background. And, but we can also see the S at the same time as well. So let's zoom in. And what I want to do is hide this part of the S and also this part here so that we can make, create that effect of the fish kind of swimming around the, um, the letter S. So the way we do that is with the masking tool. So we need to hide this part of the, the S. So click right here. There's this little circle and a square icon. If you click on that, you'll notice this new box appears in the S layer. This is called the layer mask box. So choose that layer mask box. Make sure you choose that and choose the paintbrush tool. And let's say you picked like a black color. So just a fully black color and you paint in the layer mask box. It's going to hide whatever's in that layer, which is the S. So a black color will hide. And if you choose a white color, it will reveal. And if you choose a gray color, it's going to partially reveal. So you can see it's partially revealed the uh, gray right here. So if you press the Alt key and click on that layer mask box, you see you can see what you've uh, done right here. So you can see the black parts are hidden, the, the white parts are all revealed, and the gray parts are partially revealed. So if you press Alt again and click back on the layer mask box, then you can see how everything looks. So what are we uh, what we're going to do is choose a black color and just completely hide this part of the S because this should be the fish. But I'm not going to get too far into the edge now, but we will soon. And then, so let's just zoom in a little bit. So you can see the edges of the fish's body right here. Those edges are kind of soft. And you can also see the softness of the brush, which is too soft. So what we need to do is choose the brush tool and decrease this, the, uh, increase the hardness a little bit more. So let's maybe increase it to maybe like 90% and see what that looks like. So I think that's amount, about the same amount of softness as the edges of the fish's body. So now that kind of relates 
to the exact kind of crop that we want. Or you can increase it a little bit more, I think. There we go. I think now we just got it right there. So we can just go all the way around. And if you need to make the brushes a little bit smaller to get into those smaller bits, you can just lower the size here. And then you can just get into those here. So let's also get into the eyes. So we'll also get into the um, the fish's body and uh, the fish's tail and all of that here as well. But let's just do the fish's body for now. Let's all get all of these bits here as well. So I might lower the opacity a little bit more of the S so we can see it right here. There we go. So that looks good. So this part here, we actually need to make the brush a lot smaller to get into that those small tricky parts. So that looks good. So now we uh, this one is a little bit different. So we actually need to make the brush really small and we need to make a really soft to uh, get this uh, tail just right. So I'm going to make the brush size a little bit bigger here, just slightly bigger. And I'm just going to go over these edges right here. So I'm not going to go right to the edge, but I'm just going to get this uh, shape of that fin right there. So let's get into these edges and let's rub out all of these bits because we don't need it. There we go. So just there. And now I'm going to make the brush really small and I'm talking the smallest that it can go to one pixels and I'm also going to make the uh, hardness at 0% so one pixel size brush and a 0% hardness as well so now we're going to zoom in quite far and now we're just going to paint in the edges of the fin so let's choose the paintbrush tool and let's just paint that all in so this might take a while but this actually gets the best details of this uh, fin right here so we're just going to kind of rub all the way around it get all of these edges right here so this actually creates like a nice uh, realistic uh, look of that fin so let me just show you what it looks like once I kind of zoom it out so you need to kind of get rid of these kind of edges that we created before and kind of really nice get those um, edges there so let me just zoom out and see show you what that looks like so far so let's just up the opacity so that would, that's what it looks like so far. I'm going to get into those um, um, edges, make it much more clearly clear soon. We're going to kind of make it look like this here. So I'm just going to speed up the video a little bit. And what I'm going to do is make the brush a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller, increase the hardness and decrease the hardness to get that effect just right. I won't speed up the video now, but I am going to just show you quickly how to get these edges right. And then I'll, I'll speed up the video and then I'll sh um, do the rest. Because if I don't speed up the video, then this video will just be a bit too long. So let's just uh, zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to uh, make the brush just a little bit bigger. Maybe to, let's just say, two pixels. And keep the hardness quite soft. And let's get into these edges here now. So that looks good there. And if you can't see the tail properly, you can just um, lower the opacity a little bit more. Go. So now let's get into these bits here. So it looks good. Let's get the tails just right there. And get these edges right just there. That looks really nice there. Let's also get into these edges right here as well. Okay, so let's up the opacity and see what that looks like so far. Okay, so that's looking much better now. So now we, all we need to do is just kind of paint in those edges. And it doesn't need to be exactly like the, uh, the image that we started with. As long as it kind of creates that illusion of the fish kind of swimming over the the letter S, then we've kind of got the effect that we want. So it doesn't have to be perfectly um, accurate to the uh, original image. Let's get these bits right here. So let's zoom out and see what that looks like. So there we go. That actually looks really good now. So now what you can do um, to make it a little bit more detailed is that you can actually choose a white color and reveal parts of the S now to get rid of those kind of black edges here and there. So let's get into those white edges and I might make the brush even smaller and get into those little white bits there. And so that 
looks good. So these are just slight touches here and there that you can do. You don't have to do this with your image, but um, I like to be a little bit picky here and there. So we didn't, I didn't actually have to speed up the video because I didn't, it actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. So that looks good. Now let's zoom out. And what I might do is get the details on the body of the, um, the fish just right because it's a slightly slanted there. So let's choose uh, the brush to be a little bit bigger. And I'll make the hardness to be about 95%. Let's just get that edges right, just there. That looks good. Cool, that's looking really good there now. So let's zoom out and see what this looks like so far. So, so far we've kind of created that edge, that kind of, um, that look and feel of the fish kind of just swimming around it. So one more thing we can do, because right now it does look a little bit off. So what we can do is create an extra copy of this, um, sorry, not an extra copy. We can create a bigger brush and we can lower the hardness a lot more. And we can just slightly add like a little touch just there. So it just kind of adds like a little shadow just slightly over that um, uh, tail just to kind of, because it looks slightly off there that's why. So just a bit of a shadow would make it a lot better. I think that looks much better now and much more of a realistic look now. So you can actually kind of see through the fin a little bit more. There you go. One there, one click there. So I think that looks good now. So let's zoom out. So that's much better now. So now we're going to add a shadow to the S right here. So that's really easy to do. Uh, you just need to click on the S layer right here and go to layer. And then go down to layer style and then click on drop shadow. <coughs> So you have all of these options right here. So you can play around with the blend mode. So how how do you want the shadow to blend into the background? So usually I just leave it on multiply. There's some other options like hard light, uh, overlay, uh, which you can't really see. But usually it's multiply that works that works best. And you can also change the opacity of the shadow. So you can increase it and decrease it. And you'll also notice that the shadow has gone all over the fish. Uh, but we'll fix that later on. So just look at the shadows over here for now. So I'm going to increase the shadow to opacity to maybe about 80%. And you will also play with the distance of the shadow here and also the angle. So you can change it to like a 90 degree angle or like a 45 degree angle. And let's just say you hit OK, but then you didn't, um, you, you actually want to keep editing the shadow even more. You'll notice two extra lines right here. There's effects and then there's drop shadow under the S layer. Just double click on the drop shadow and that same menu will come up again. So now you, you can just keep editing the shadow. So you can also um, adjust the spread of the shadow, the size of the shadow, and you just need to get it just right and hit OK. So what happened here is the shadow of the S has gone over the fish. So what we need to do is copy uh, the image, which is this part of the fish, and paste it over the S to get that kind of effect back. So what we need to do is to kind of get that selection of this part of the fish. I'm going to press Alt and I'm going to press the layer mask box right here. And we need to take this as a selection. So just like before, I'm just going to zoom out. And if you press and hold Control or Command if you're on a Mac and click on the layer mask box of the S layer, it's going to select everything that's white within this uh, layer. But what we want is the black part. So what, what you do is just click on uh, select and then click on inverse. And now that's gonna, just going to select the black parts of this layer mask box. So now you can press alt and click back on the layer mask box of the S layer. So now we have just the selection of the fish. So now you can go down to the fish layer and then you can click on edit, copy. So we just copied the fish layer, just that part there. And now you can just click on paste. So that's control V or command V if you're on a Mac. And now we have this new layer. So I'm just going to call this cutout uh, fish image. And now if I just place this layer on top of the S layer, now we get that um, uh, the fish back. So right now what you can see is it's just this part of the fish just kind of placed over it. So we just get, kind of get that fish back to where it was.